Hey everybody, it's Michelle. I just want to share with you, I've been making a lot of jewelry the past couple days, so I just thought I'd share with you some of the pieces that I've been making. And um, and then I want to show you the, the homemade charms that I've been making. And then I will do a tutorial on those in my next video. Um, hopefully get that up tomorrow. But anyways, let me just start out. Here's I've been going to town every night. I'll start with some of my necklaces. Um, here's a necklace. This is one of the homemade charms that I made. And it's kind of just um, a mixed media. And I actually made it out of chipboard. And I embossed it with embossing powders and glued fragments on it. Some beads little chipboard pieces and this little metal, metal embellishment and then here's the necklace I love the way the colors turned out on this I think it turned out so good it's kind of hard to do this on video so that's the necklace I turned it into and then here's another one of the homemade charms that I made and that's just out of chipboard and like I said I will show you a tutorial on how to make that. I'll show you some more charms at the end of this. This one I just used scrapbook paper and I think it was the Street Lakes collection so there's butterflies in there. I embossed and crackled ac crack, uh, glossy accented over it, glued a charm on, embossed the edges with some stone powder and that one I have a bevel on it. And there's the the necklace. I used a magnetic clasp on this one and I love the magnetic clasps. I think that's what I'll buy from now on. So there's that one. And then this was the first charm that I made and this is out of a Tim Holtz fragment. And I tissue pa or used napkin and decoupaged a napkin on it and glued embellishments on it. I just had charms in my drawer and I glued them all on there for that, you know, and then it's in pinks. I don't know if you could see. Oops. So that's that one. That was like the first necklace that I did. And then here's another necklace. I think I showed this one. Alrighty, that's another necklace I've made. And I, that's just a charm piece I bought at Michael's. And then I've been into the bracelets, and these are my favorite. Um, these wraparound bracelets. These are so easy, fast, and fun, and I just love them. Um, I made this. This is used out of memory wire, and it's just, you just put them on like so. Look how cool. I do put little charms, which I make myself, on the ends of them. Aren't they stinking cute? I love it. I just there's no randomness, uh, no pattern to this. I just stick it, stick the beads on randomly. I love the way that turned out. You can make them three, four, however, however many you want. And like I said, you don't need a clasp or anything. They're just memory wire. And then here's another one I made, kind of more of a springy color. Aren't they cute? Super fun. And then I made one. I have all these wood beads that I've had forever. So I thought I'd use them. And I love it. I think this one's my favorite. Very casual for, you know, just everyday jeans. And I did do the little charms on the end. I love the way that turned out. I, and it's really light. I don't like heavy jewelry. And then I did turquoise and these, I I stock the beads at Michael's so I kind of get to stare and play with them all day long so I know what I want to buy. But I loved these little um, brown beads. They're kind of like a stone material and they're really got, they got a lot of holes in them. They have them in a big size too. So I mixed them with the, some turquoise beads that I had. And I love the way that turned out. Super cute, super fun. And then I'm 
telling you, I got a lot. This one I didn't put charms on the end. It's just a little simple. But I love the colors. Mixes with it. And I only did it two layers. So, two rounds. I love that. And then this one. This one I'll probably give to one of my nieces. So I made it really small. They got birthdays coming up. And I did a little purse charm. And a heart charm on the end. So that's that. See, I made it smaller so it'll fit them nice. And then, try, oh, there goes the dogs. I think my son's home. This one I tried to do. I um, it's gonna get noisy. I might have to shut this off. I tried. To, I did like three strands, and I encased the beads. These are the bicone or. Not bicone. Are they bicone? I don't know. I'm tired. And I just brought out all the colors in these beads. And then I put another bead in the center. So I liked that. That was practice. It came out super cute. I love it. And then I have this one that I did with the um, three strands. I hooked three together and I just did real delicate seed beads and then gr grouped it together and I like the way that turned out too. Real pretty, delicate, just for kind of everyday wear. So, and then I have these two. I like the way that one turned out, super pretty, but I made it too small for me. So I have to, it's really small. And then there's this one. Alright, now I want to show you, I was messing around, let me see, I was messing around with these charms, let me show you what I made, should have had them out, my son just came home from school so that's what the noise is, the dogs are excited. All right, here's the charms that I started making. And Stop it, baby! Quiet, Alex. And I still have to make these into jewelry. So what I did was I had chipboard. Um, this was like a cutout of chipboard, and I glued two of them together. And then I um, embossed with embossing powder. And the embossing powders that I used... All right, hold on. Wait till I'm done with the video. Michelle. Hold on. All right, sorry about that. Noisy time of the day. Okay, so I had chipboard and the embossing powders that I used, I had went to the show um, in Michigan with Gloria the Craft Expo, and we found these by Piccolo, and they're really cool embossing powders. They're really thick with textures in them, so it looks like a stone finish and they have antique silver. They melt really nice. I am like a huge fan. And then they have this uh, enamel adhesive, which is a dauber top. That that's what you um, use like your, instead of your pad, you dab it on with this. And it helps, um, it helps keep the embossing powder on better so it's not flying all over because it is thicker embossing powders but anyways I got several colors and they do have a website Piccolo and it's really worth checking out because it's really cool stuff and then you have this um, it's kind of like glossy accents but you use less of it and you just rub it on to give it that shiny look you can make it thick and supposedly this does not turn yellow like glossy accents will so um, if you want more info on that just send me a message so I got the idea I wanted to make my own charms um, I've been seeing, you know, all the mixed media charms like Industrial Chic and Artie Cake and stuff. So I thought, oh, let me make my own. Just smaller, simpler, but still. These are just, I seriously just used my circle punch, which was this one. Cut out chipboard. Thin chipboard. Cardboard, whatever. And I glued like several of them together. I think this one was three or four. And then for the the clasp, I used I used a jump ring and glued it in between the layers. If you don't have jump rings, you can also use like a paper clip. 
and just break off the end where it's looped and, and glue it in there. And I Maj Podged and embossed on it and then I glued some of my charms on it. You can see that gives it like a stone finish underneath. It kind of looks like granite. And then I just glued embellishments on. This one I kept really simple and I just did the gold, antique gold on the side. Put some scrapbooking paper, Maj Podged it on there. Used some trim. This one I'm in the process of making still. I'm going to glue. I have scissors and sewing embellishments that I want to glue on here. And this one. And they're really light, but yet they're sturdy. They're not they're not going anywhere. And then this was a chipboard heart. And I like I said, I glued them together. Maj Podged it. it got, it's got like that stony embossed finish there. And then I just glued some beads and a key. And then put that glossy stuff with my finger on top. And look how shiny it looks. So, um, oh, that camera's picking that up. There, you can kind of see. And then I had a letter O with chipboard. So I glued two of them together, the two O's together, and I just made like a circle. And there you can see how that embossing powder looks. It looks like ceramic or granite. It melts really pretty. And then I just glued some beads and a leaf, gold leaf. And then I'll make a necklace out of it. So then further, I was playing around the other night while I was on Skype. And I want to make big pendants because I want to do wire wrapping. And as all I did was I used my oval punch from Stampin' Up. The same cardstock or chipboard. Real th it's thin. You can use thicker. I glued these together. I have these the craft cardstock and I cut that out and I glued like three or four pieces together you can make it however thick you want as to how many pieces you glue together and then I used my vintage dies because <clears throat> I had to try those out and these are meant for you can do metal pieces and then run them through your big shot and but you can't, they recommend that you only use the metal from Vintage, but you can use paper or cardstock in these. So I just ran it through, and this was on clearance for $1.99 at Michael's, so run out, they might have some, but I love these. And you can position it on here any way you want to get whatever image you want on here. So I was using this butterfly one. It's really pretty, it's called Butterfly Swirls. And Sizzix does make these. So I, it did really well on the chipboard. This one I used um, the negative side down. I don't know how to say that. And then I painted them with this Luminart. It's like mica powder, but it's already hard in there, and you just add water, see? And then it turns into a real shimmery paint. So I used different colors of those, and I painted it on there. And then I just took some Rub and Buff and put it on my finger to bring out the gold and the raised images. So there's this one I like. I used, um, actually this one I used the Banshee Black or Screaming Banshee Black from Lindy's. And that's the same thing, only it's the powder and then you just wet it with your paintbrush tip and then paint it on there. So that gave me that look and then I used Silver Rub and Buff to bring out the the edging and then put the glossy stuff on the top and there's the back without the glossy stuff so you could see the difference so I did that and it's gonna look cool when I put it on a jewel a piece of you know make it on a jewelry and I might white wire wrap it I don't know yet and then this one was um, periwinkle in that luminart that I painted and then I did the gold on top of it gold rub and buff and I really like how these turned out. I will do a tutorial, but not in this video. I'll either try to make it tonight, well then I, t or tomorrow, so stay tuned for it. I will do a tutorial on how to do these charms. And then this last one, this is really cool. This I tried using, it's this stuff. Um, it's real thin tissue paper. I've had it for years. Where's It's called fusible iridescent film and it's um 
that's what it is and this stuff is really cool you can crinkle it up you're supposed to iron it and it shrinks or you could use your heat gun and shrink it and stamp on it with stays on and make really cool stuff out of it just um, so it's fusible film by Textiva quick art art stamps or it's known as Angelina film I've had this for years I don't think her website is in but they do sell it elsewhere if you google it well what I did was I just cut and Maj Podged a piece, a flat piece on there, and then I ran it through the um, Vintage, and I heat gunned it on, so it glue, it did stick, and the edges curled around ever so nicely. They melted right around, and it's kind of like glass, but I thought that turned out really cool. It has like a greenish, and the more I held the heat gun on it, it kind of bubbled up, which I liked. So I'm going to play around more with that, and I'll probably come back and show you some more things. But so stay tuned for a tutorial on that. I'll probably make it now. And um, yeah, so that's it. That's my jewelry collection that I've been making. Um, and I'm on a roll with it. So there, look at all that. Oh my goodness. And then I kind of made up this box. This altered box. I altered keys and, and stuff. And that's just um, scrapbook paper that I mosh poshed on there. That's this stuff's cool um that was on a piece of paper and i cut it out and i used this pearl pen which you could get it at pack of tans which is or craft 2000 and gloria bought me this and it's relatively inexpensive and they get a lot more than of perf than you do with perfect pearls um but you could check out the viva decor you could put this on glass they decorate glasses with it but i just did the pearls i dabbed the pearls on there so i think it came out cute and these were just keys that i had laying around the house that didn't go to anything and i put some charms on them and fancied them up i painted them black and rub and buffed them so anyways that's my jewelry um i got more to come i'm going to be making some more and I'll stay, t stay tuned for the tutorial. If you have any questions or if you'd like to, um, any tutorials or questions, I'll be happy to answer them. Just private message me. Thanks, guys. Have a good day. Bye.